friend of mine. My friend Kristen absolutely loves this series and wanted me to do a video on it, so here we go. It's a modern take on a nostalgic title that I'm sure a lot of us grew up on, a staple of cartoons for everyone. The beloved talking dog and his group of mystery-solving friends, this is the latest incarnation in the Scooby-Doo franchise. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. cartoons and it works really well and looks really really good. It's very slick and very memorable and it's a great update on the classic character designs. But not only are the character designs updated a little bit, so are kind of the characters personalities. I was pretty impressed by how much more depth of character they have than what I remember from when I was a kid. The characters are a little bit more multifaceted and I think my favorite one here is actually Daphne. Yes, she's the drop-dead gorgeous airhead that she always was, but she's really sweet and really authentic and I actually really, really like the way that she's portrayed in this series. Interestingly enough, Velma, who used to be my favorite, I don't really like as much in this series. Her character comes off a little grouchy more often than not, which is a little strange to me. On the subject of Velma, I'm going to touch briefly on a few feminism issues here, but I'll try to keep it short. It is a little bit debatable whether her updated character design is empowering or sexist. She is now much skinnier and more feminine than she used to be, down to cute little bows in her hair. So, on the one hand, it seems nice that this time around the geeky, nerdy, frumpy girl gets to be a little bit sexier. On the other hand, it does seem a little like the media wants the geeky, nerdy, frumpy girl to have the decency to conform to a more mainstream ideal of beauty. So, take what you want from that. But what I do find a little bit more problematic than that is her personality. Daphne has always been an airhead, but now Velma in this series is dating Shaggy and is portrayed as a temperamental, nagging harpy who's always trying to change or fix him and is constantly annoyed with him. A little bit problematic from a feminist perspective and hence why I'm not really the biggest fan of Velma's character here. But moving on from that, this is after all a Halloween video. So let's talk about some of the spooky stuff. The entire show seems to be very Halloween themed. The kids live in Crystal Cove, a city whose tagline is the hauntedest place on earth. The city draws most of its revenue from tourists that want to see the ghosts, and so the people of the city are not altogether that happy with the ghosts being unmasked. This is a very interesting and cute little twist. The whole city is Halloween themed, from restaurants like The Bloody Steak and rock bands like The Hex Girls, the episode with The Hex Girls is my favorite one by the way, the whole show oozes Halloween and it looks really really good doing it too. I really love the spooky Halloween-y vibe in this series and it's really fun visually. The monsters are all pretty awesome and fun to watch. The writing is pretty kiddish, for lack of a better term, but that is to be expected as this is, after all, a kids show. The jokes and running gags are all pretty cute, like Fred's obsession with traps, for instance. The best part of the writing, however, and my favorite aspect of the series, is how there is an underlying mystery that runs through the course of the entire series. It is apart from the too big guy in a costume mysteries that they go after every episode. It's very intriguing and I'm very interested to see where that goes. The mysterious man Mr. E, get it, is a stroke of genius and I'm really, really enjoying it. Altogether, it's a great series and a great modernized rendition of the classic. It has its issues, but it's very fun and if you are a Scooby fan, this is a great addition to the franchise. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We need some help. 
Come on, to be do. I see you. Pretending you got a sliver. You're not fooling me, cause I can see the way you shake and shiver. Alrighty, well, that's it for my little video on Scooby Doo Mystery Inc. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Add me on Facebook or Twitter, and let me know what titles you'd like to see me check out. For the next couple of weeks to wrap up October, I'll be getting back to some super creepy horror anime, so hope you tune back in for that. See you then!